Hey, hey everybody, Shavo here, bringing you another one versus one match. This is going to be a Terran versus Zerg. Terran spawning as the green up here at the top named Quixotism. We're going to call him Quix for short. And the red Zerg spawning down here is K Time Killer. Or Killer, rather, not Killer. And both exchanging the pleasant trees. And that's pretty much it so far. So hopefully this will be a pretty decent game. Let's speed it up just to get some of the boring stuff down. Quicks over here making a supply depot so he can continue to make units as well as K Time Killer making an Overlord. Making three more drones, one more STV. And we've got Quicks over here sending a scout out. Let's see if he goes next to this. Is all gonna watch tower. And just yep, there it goes. Alright, good. Good, 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 good. Making an extractor over here by Time Killer and throwing down a spawning pool. So I'm assuming he went 15 extractor, 14 pool, because that's the typical build now. Barracks being thrown down by Quicks. Getting a good scout over here from Quicks just to see what's going on. Make sure all is standard. No 6 pool, 10 pool, whatever. Even though if it was a 6 pool, he would have probably found out by now, I'm assuming. Anyway, so we've got K-Time Killer over here harassing this SCV already, so he's already given, given Quick some hard times. And this SCV is pleasantly going about his business, and he just was able to finish that barracks. And it actually had this SCV repairing the other SCV, so this SCV is probably this other one's best friend, and he didn't want to see him die, so he ran over there and repaired his buddy. Got Quicks over here at this Zelnaga Watchtower. Spawning pool just finished, and he's already researching metabolic boost. Getting a queen popped out over there. It's a pretty typical play. I'm assuming he's going to go over here and expand, which that's what it looks like. And there it goes. Expansion coming out. Factory being thrown down by Quicks, so we're going to see some early Hellions, I would imagine. Otherwise, why is the point of an early factory? Got this Marine coming out over here to try and do some harassment. Probably going to try and snipe this Overlord. And I'm assuming he's going to get a good couple shots off of him if he doesn't kill him already. Overlord's getting the heck out of Dodge, but he is so damn slow I don't know if he's going to be able to make it. We'll see. So we've got that Hatchery being thrown down, making some Zerglings over here. Got the first Hellion being thrown out by Quicks by this factory. Getting the Orbital Command being thrown down. And there it just completed. Let's see if that mule comes out here soon. Where's that mule? Where's that mule? Make the mule. There it goes. There goes the mule. And this overlord might die. This marine is being very, very mean to this overlord. All he wanted to do is fly around and not do too much else. And he goes down in a balloon of blood. So the hatchery is just about made. He's got about six six zerglings with the metabolic boost upgrade. Got this hellion on the field, just trying to get some scouting information. Maybe roast a few zerglings over here if he's careful. Oh, got two hellions on the field right now, and looks like the engagement didn't happen. Those zerglings decided to get out of there because they knew they were no match for two hellions. Got a third hellion coming out as well. Two more supply depots being thrown down by Quicks. Hatchery is just completed, making another queen out of there, making a bunch more drones to see what the income looks like. So K Time Killer is actually ahead, 21 to 19 as far as the drone count, so not too bad. Got these Hellions being running around, but it looks like Time Killer is going to see everything that Quicks is doing. So he knows that he has three Hellions coming up over here. It's going to be knocking on his door fairly soon. So he needs to start preparing, and this queen is going to pop just in the right time. And he's only got one drone. He's going to try and move around, get behind these Hellions so we can get a good surround, but he's not going to be able to do that. And two drones, or two Zerglings get roasted in the process. Queen has taken off a couple shots, wasn't able to get anything good on the Hellions as of yet. So these Hellions are just trying to roast up this Queen right now. He's microing back his Hellions really well. And looks like these, oh, these Zerglings just aren't able to get a good surround. He's trying to get the good surround on them, trying to push them back, but Quix is microing his Hellions down very well. So he is able to get out of dodge with these Hellions intact. So a very good micro from these Hellions by Quicks. Got a fourth Hellion joining the squad right now, throwing down a starport as well as another factory and an armory. So we're probably going to see some Thors here very, very soon. Got the lair already being built, or already completed rather, by K Time Killer. 29 to 22 as far as the harvester count goes. Unit Y, 17 Zerglings, 2 Queens, 2 5 Hellions, 5 Marines. 
Got this one queen out over here. Probably going to start spreading some creep soon. There goes the creep tumor. Making some warlords throwing down another queen. And this queen over here is not really doing too much other than throwing up on the hatchery. Got an evolution chamber and a spire being thrown down by K Time Killer. Here comes the four harassing Hellions earlier, and they are out for more revenge. Got a fifth one on the way. He's the rookie. He doesn't know what's going on, so he's going to follow the, the four other ones who are battle hardened. Got this other queen going out, spreading, spreading pretty well. The creep with these two creep tumors over here. Let's check out what Quix is doing. Throwing down a command center, fixing to expand here fairly soon. Throwing down some tech labs, so I'm assuming we're going to see some Thors here any second. As soon as he gets enough, where are those Thors? Where are those Thors? Come on, throw down some Thors. Don't make me look like an idiot, or even like more of an idiot rather. Fine. I didn't want to see any Thors. So we got. K time killer over here killing these destructible rocks preparing to expand once again got two queens down over here throwing down a couple extractors on his expansion transferring some drones over a good 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 play by time killer got the spire already created throwing out some mutilisks to see what the production tab is two thors there are the thors i was looking for three mutilisks and the zerg level one melee attacks for his zerglings being researched that destructible rocks did go down so i'm assuming he's going to expand there any time now looks like quicks is a little is not too quick huh? quick get it on throwing down this one command center on his expansion so that's gonna provide him a little bit of detriment as far as his economy goes because k time killer is already ahead of him as far as the economy goes and looks like he was able to take out that one lone marine sending at that Zelnaga watchtower with his zerglings he's got these two vikings coming over here doing some harassment on this overlord this overlord is about to go down there it goes in a balloon of blood and this overlord looks like he's not going to have too much more fate but these mules come in to save the day take out these two vikings and that overlord is is eternally grateful to those mules for saving his life busy there we go so two Thors out over here with a bunch of Hellions what does the unit tab look like yep two Thors two Hellions rather four Marines we got a whole bunch of Zerglings coming over here probably gonna just do a little bit of scouting see what's going on on the field he's got these seven mules coming over here making sure that there is no type of third or s or second expansion rather and he's not really doing too much. Expanding on this gold expansion over here. Almost completed. Really good job of spreading the creep. Great job of spreading the creep. There's creep everywhere. Throwing down an auxiliary hatchery. So he can get a ton of unit production out over here. And he's making nine more mutilisks. Is, is he making him? No, he's not making it. Two more mutilisks. And he's got melee attacks level two being researched for his zerglings. Income wise, 59 to 29 as far as the harvester count. So he is just dominating the economy for, for K Time Killer right now. Massive economy coming in for K Time Killer. Well, not, is that, that's the sad thing about it. He's really not doing all that much. Terran is on one base. Zerg is on three, and he's just, and Terran is still being able to keep up because of these bad boys right here. He lose two mules. Sad. Oh well. So he's got this gold expansion up, fully saturated gold expansion. He's about to get these two extractors, about to pop, throw some drones in there, get some good, good gas going in there. Queen just popped for that hatchery, and he's throwing down another hatchery. So he is expanding like crazy. How many hatcheries does he have? One, two. Three of these hatcheries? No. Okay. Four or five. Five hatcheries. So he's got a lot of unit production coming over here. This one marine tried to get brave, tried to snipe that overlord. Zerglings were not having it. Said, nope, those are my buddies and you are not going to kill them. Queen throwing down a whole bunch of creep tumors so, we can, so she can spread that creep out very far. And let's see what Quicks is doing. Looks like he's planning to do some sort of push over here. What's he going to do? He's got a whole bunch of Hellions. He's got like nine Hellions or so loading these Thors up on these dropships. So he's probably planning to do some sort of dropout, imagine, as he is loading them up into dropship. And yes, I am a master of the obvious. Moving out with these Hellions. Let's see what he's going to do. He's probably going to go around back. Oh, that's what he's doing. Looks like these... Oh, 
these mules, oh, they're gonna catch the, th the Thors. Oh, oh, let's go take him, take him, take him. Oh no, he was able to get one. He was actually able to get one drop ship, but just in time, that drop ship dropped the Thor over here. So now, Quix is in a pretty good dominating position. Oh, here comes a whole bunch of Zorglings, but these Zorglings are gonna get roasted, toasted. All of the Zorglings go down. All of the Zorglings go down to those Hellions. And these mules are a day late and a dollar short, and I don't know if they're gonna be able to take off three Thors using the magic box for these Thors. Mark bring the Thors back though, and it looks like he's not gonna be able to get too much going on with those mules trying to kill those Thors. K Time Killer says, Man, I am lagging something fierce. These aliens are roasting and toasting these drones like crazy. And K Time Killer has nothing to respond against right now. He's making a whole bunch of Zorgans right now. A couple of testers coming out over here. The Queen is trying desperately to save what she can as far as her hatchery goes. Here come these infestors. Let's see what they're going to do. They're going to just go up and try and headbutt the floors or something. And two of the infestors go down pretty quick. Quick actually dropping down a ton of mules so he can get some good repairs going off on these Thors, so that's a really good strategy, although these mules aren't going to last very long. Throwing down an Ultralisk Cavern, 4K time killer, got these three Thors just kind of chilling out over here, not sure what to do. And here they go, they're gonna try and take out this one hatchery. Got a bunch of Zerglings coming out over here, got these Marines coming in over on this one base on this goal expansion, they will easily take that out. Here come the Zerglings, gonna try and surround the Thors, try and take out these Thors. They got two upgrades on their on their claws, so they're gonna be able to take out one Thor. Looks like they're gonna be able to take out the other Thor, even with a mule repairing the Thor. Not enough. Take it out. Looks like these four Marines are coming over here. They're gonna try and snipe this hatchery, but these Zerglings are gonna come over here and easily dispatch of these Marines. They're trying to get out of there as fast as they can, but the Zerglings are able to take them out. And these Zerglings are gonna try and surround these two Marines, but these two Marines and one Marauder are able to survive, and they're gonna have the backup of a Medivac coming in over here. Gonna try and take out this gold expansion once again. Two brave marines and one stupid marauder coming in and these mulesk are going to be able to easily take out the rest of this. And that marauder finally goes down. This one lone marine is probably the result of a bad rally point and he is going to try and make the best of the situation and takes out the investor. <laughs> oh, that is one baller marine. Oh, that is so awesome right there. Oh, uh, that Marine deserves some sort of medal for doing that. Anyway, got a couple of Hellions, or rather six Hellions over here with this Thor, wondering what they're going to do at the battle. They just witnessed they are really reluctant in pushing out, and K-Time Killer has just got creep everywhere. Creep is literally almost over half the map, so that is a good creep spread. You want to see a good creep spread? Look at that. Nothing but creep. So, K Time Killer over here making sure that there is no expansion in this top right position, the 11 o'clock position. Looks like Quix is throwing a few Hellions to the birds and just trying to get some good scouting information. This one infester sitting over here by this El Nango Watchtower, accompanied by a few Zorgans. This queen says, Nope, I am not having any Hellions on my creep. So she decides to go ahead and kill it. What do we got as far as units now? Two Ultralisk on the field now, two upgrades on their claws and the ram. So that ram is going to do a whole bunch of damage on these buildings. The damage for the Kaiser Blades is pretty intense. Here comes a big push by Quix already. He's got a whole bunch of Hellions over here, about nine Hellions. Here it comes, gonna get a good surround. Here comes the Ultra is gonna try and just really take out these Hellions right now, accompanying with the Roaches. Just gonna go ahead and mow through the rest of these Zerglings, or the rest of the Marines, and the Mulus are gonna come up and take out the rest of that Thor. So, pretty much no match. Only lost a few Zer or a few Roaches and one Ultralist. Quicks calls a GG as he realizes that he cannot take on this force. So, really good play by Time Killer. Good creep spread. Tons of hatcheries, and he was able to come out with a win. So, hope you enjoyed this commentary. More to come.